In this video, we're going to cover how to set up and optimize a restaurant's Google business profile for maximum exposure. There's three parts to it that we'll cover in under 10 minutes. So let's dive right into it. Part one is using Google posts with an offer to promote online ordering through your website. I've seen thousands of restaurants Google business profiles and no single strategy works better than this one for increasing sales. I first saw this one in action for my friend Omar, the owner of Talk and Tacos. He used this strategy to drive over $2,000 in additional monthly sales without his team spending more than five minutes per week on it. When he discovered this feature, he was at this place where he really wanted to drive more orders directly through his website and his app rather than through Uber Eats. And he knew that if his regulars knew what was in it for them to order directly from him, that they would choose to do so. So he found a way to promote it on his Google listing for free. And this is how. Using Google business updates and Google business offers, he put a text on his list saying, save 20% on your first order on our website or app using code VIP20. See why all of our regulars order direct. Coupon is automatically applied when you click below, valid through end of month for pickup and delivery. And as you can see here on screen, he had an image that said exactly the same thing. Just having this Google business profile post and image on screen, increased his sales by over $2,000 per month without having to run any ads. He can track that down to the penny because he uses owner.com for his website and his online ordering, which tell him exactly where his new sales are coming from and had a tracking link set up to specifically check how many new sales were coming from this feature. But because it's a new feature, Google's really promoting it. So not only does it show up all over Google when you do a Google business post or offer, but it actually increases the search exposure of restaurants using it since it shows Google that the business is actively being optimized. That means more exposure as well as more awareness of whatever your promotion is. As you can imagine, this is also a great way to promote specials or upcoming events or new menu items. So if number one is using Google posts and offers, what is number two, Adam? I'm so glad you asked. But before we get to number two, if you're looking to learn more on growing a restaurant business online, then click that subscribe button down below because every month I post a few new videos on what is working today to grow a restaurant and being subscribed means that you'll never miss out on the latest strategies. So back to number two. Number two is using the Q&A section strategically. My friend Timory, the owner of Duda Diner, uses this feature to massively increase her sales. When you Google diner in Wichita, Kansas, her restaurant shows up at the very top and her activity on the Q&A section is a huge part of why she does. She initially did it just to try and help her customers, not realizing the marketing benefit that she was creating for her business. But then the increase in Google exposure spoke for itself. The Q&A section is key on Google business profiles for three reasons. First, it increases the amount of people who click into your website because it addresses concerns that guests might have about selecting your restaurant. Like, does this restaurant offer vegan options? Or what's the best place to park? Or do you guys have good Wi-Fi? And then number two is it increases the rankings on Google to have a properly filled out Q&A section. Because when people are searching for questions like, does Adam's restaurant offer gluten-free options? Or what restaurants nearby have gluten-free options? Google now has good answers to give them that include your restaurant. And most importantly, it decreases the amount of phone calls your staff have to get for ridiculous, silly questions where we find ourselves answering the same questions over and over 50 times on the same day. So it saves that labor cost, it saves that headache, it avoids us having to answer so many basic questions on the phone every day, and it turns out that there's another way to use these attributes. And that is tip number three, using the attributes feature to show off and differentiate on Google. Google recently launched the attributes feature for business profiles, which are like categories you can select that apply to your business so that you show up in those categories. I saw with my mom's business that when she tagged it with attributes like women owned and free parking on Google, that she saw her Google exposure increase by literally thousands of impressions per month. She's consistently getting over 30 new customers every month from Google for free and attributes are a huge part of that. It turns out that a lot of people are searching for businesses nearby that might be women owned or veteran owned or have free parking or have gluten free options or all of the other attributes that Google lets you mark your restaurant as explicitly now. This one is super easy to action on because you basically just go into the Google business profile manager and you make sure everything is filled out. That's all. If you can select an attribute for your business, I recommend selecting it because the more attributes a Google business profile has, the more exposure Google gives it. Oh, 
And I know I said three easy tips, but another tip just occurred to me since I started filming this video. So we're going with four easy tips. So here's the bonus tip that is even more powerful than the first three we covered. And that is number four, using Google Business's new share a review feature. Yelp is famous for not letting restaurants ask for reviews, but Google has taken the opposite approach as of recently. They now let you copy a link from the inside of your Google business profile dashboard, which makes it super easy for customers to go to your listing and leave you a review. I saw my friend Sean Walshef, the owner of Cali Comfort Barbecue in San Diego, use this genius strategy to drive reviews with this feature. Here's how it works. When a customer orders from him online, he sends them an automatic email saying, how was your experience? Leave us a review with the link to his Google business profile. That is it. It is literally that simple. And using that simple of a strategy, he's gotten over 2000 positive reviews on Google in under 14 months. Now, when you search for barbecue in San Diego or dozens of other terms, not only does he come up at the top, but he looks like the clear market leader because he has four times the reviews of the next best barbecue restaurant. If you want to spice this one up and make it work faster, I've also seen restaurants use a raffle with the Google reviews feature, meaning they tell their customers something like write a review, win a thousand dollar gift card raffle happening at the end of the month and then they link people to their google business profile the amount of people who will take three minutes to write a review to support a business and share their experience is always heartwarming to see and it helps the restaurant stand out and develop a reputation as the market leader anyway that's it for this video but if you're looking for other ways to drive more new customers from google then i highly recommend checking out the other video i made on seo for restaurants in that video, I do a deep dive on all of the best ways to use Google to increase a restaurant's sales, including secret features like using strategic alt text on images and the three key parts to a restaurant's homepage and a few other tips that can produce amazing results for restaurants.